Hello everyone and welcome to our Mental Health Awareness Week 2021 series. I am delighted to be joined uh, by Amy Priest, one of our great This Can Happen ambassadors. Amy, welcome. Thank you, Zoe. It's really lovely to be chatting to you today. Absolutely. Now, Amy, I want to, um, I understand from a, a previous conversation that you and I have had that you put nature in your diary for your mental health every Friday afternoon. So tell me a little bit more about why you do that and how that came about. Sure. Okay. Well, it's every other Friday afternoon. I wish it was every Friday afternoon. Um, but uh, but no, it came about in well, kind of late, late last year after what was, you know, a very, very tricky year um, for everyone. I, um, I realised that I wasn't setting enough uh, space and time to reflect and give myself space to think. Uh, so I, uh, I kind of spoke to my therapist at the time and, uh, you know, things were building up. I was, I was struggling with depression, uh, struggling with anxiety and definitely at risk of burning out. Um, and so I was chatting to her and she said, you're an introvert. You need to make time to uh, you know, be with yourself and um, build your energy up and, and where do you kind of find that you get your energy from and I was chatting to her and I said well actually I find that going out for a walk with my dog and you know being in the forest listening to the bird songs seeing the sun come through the trees I find I get a lot of energy uh, through that so I spoke to my manager and I said if things don't change I'm going to be signed off so I need to start doing things a bit differently and uh, so that's when it kind of came about and my manager was incredibly um, happy that I'd kind of come to her knowing what I needed to do. That was a start. Uh, that uh, I'd already had the conversations uh, with my therapist and uh, I'd done some thinking around, you know, what, what needs to change. And so, um, yeah, I, uh, sorry, the wind. <laughs> but, Fine. Yeah, there's, uh, the, that kind of... Um, yeah, I came into play about November time last year, and uh, I uh, yeah, come out every Friday afternoon. I finish at about two o'clock, and then uh, go for a walk with Jarvis, my dog. Um, I'm in my garden today because of uh, the stability of being on uh, camera with yourself. But Jarvis is here. You can say hello. There you go. Oh, hello, hello <laughs> Jarvis. Gorgeous. He's looking for a biscuit. <laughs> so I might give him one. <laughs> Love, uh, please do, please do. So um, while you're giving him a biscuit, so do you, it goes into your diary so people know they can't book you for meetings and everything. Do you sign that time out and that is you time? I do, I do. From two o'clock I have an out of office on and uh, it, I have an out of office uh, mocked, mocked down my diary so nobody can book me that time uh, apart, from, apart from you Zoe. Um, but we're out in nature so it's okay. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, it's it's really good to be clear with people, you know, that you're not free. And even if you've got deadlines coming up, you know, it's really, really critical for you to make that time for yourself. And you know, one of the things I said to, to my manager at the time was that, you know, I'm very happy to work different hours in the week. And, you know, on some occasions, if I have to pick up a little bit of work on a weekend, I'm comfortable doing that. Nobody's then forcing me to do it. I'm all right with it. I make choice. But equally, I need to try and make sure that I'm still making time for myself. So every, like I said, every, every other Friday, finish at two, get myself out of the house. I leave my work phone up in the, in the office, in the home office. And uh, I'm on out of office until... Uh, Brilliant. And... And can I ask you, do you think that actually doing this makes you more effective at work? Yes, 100%. So typically I'll be listening to a podcast or something on thought leadership or um, ways to set better boundaries at work. Uh, <laughs> job is digging into my head because he thinks I've got treats with me. Um, but it's it's development time as much as it is reflective time it helps me develop as well so um yeah I, I take whatever I've learned on Friday even if it is just li listening to my own thoughts or listening to a podcast and I'll take that into uh into work on Monday and uh, put it into practice hopefully sometimes brilliant 
no, I, I, I think that's great. And um, Amy, a real inspiration um, for other people listening, um, you know, that you had the, the strength and determination to do this and you went to your manager, um, as you said, not just with a, a, a concern, but with an action. And I think that that really helps as well. So I'd say sort of one last message then to anyone who's who's watching this and thinking, OK, I think that's a really good plan for me as well. Um, what would you advise them to do with regards to, to their manager? Well, I think the first step is to acknowledge that asking for help or asking for time out um, isn't a sign of weakness. It's a, something that, you know, I was really struggling with at the time uh, to build up the confidence and talk to my manager about it because, uh, I, you know, even though I'm a mental health advocate and even though I, I talk about it all the time, you know, plucking up the courage to say to your manager, I'm struggling, that is really hard to do. Um, and uh, I kind of started with that, that, you know, I don't want, you know, the, the reason why I've not brought this up sooner is because I've been battling with this and this, but I really want to take a kind of stance and I want to put, um, you know, resilient, uh, resilience coping mechanisms in place. I want to be stronger and this is what I need. And um, I, you know, I want to see if we can trial this. You know, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll try something else. But um, yeah, can can we test it out to see if it will? Um, but just be flexible again with your manager. And you know, if, if there's work that needs to be done, you know, we'll, we'll get it done and, and prioritize. You know, that's the key. Making sure that you prioritize and that you say no when you can and. and and whatnot but asking for time out and you know setting boundaries and getting out into nature um and you know building that energy up again and that giving your brain that time to reflect and think about things it's just that headspace that we all need so certainly would recommend it to anyone um and if you if you want to chat to me about it a bit more feel free to reach out to me on linkedin I'm always happy to chat Wonderful. Amy, thank you so much for sharing this sort of really invaluable um, uh, lesson and advice to everybody. Thank you so much for joining This Can Happen during Mental Health Awareness Week. Really appreciate it. And now I'm going to leave you so that you can get on with your very valuable time for yourself that you've put aside. Thanks, Amy, for joining thanks. us. Uh, thanks, Zoe. Thanks for all you do. Take care.